Good evening and a very warm welcome. Ballet began at the court of Louis XIV, the man who loved to dance and he had beautiful long legs, which he loved to show off. He took dancing lessons for 20 years daily and he was so enamored with dancing that he produced these magnificent productions in which he performed with all his courtiers and the nobility. Um, dancing wasn't the only thing that they had to practice in those days, though. They, they were very keen on their fencing, and in actual fact, the fencing comes before the dancing. And if we could have our two courtiers bring your swords to the centre, gentlemen, we've got with us James Hay and Nicol Edmonds. The reason I want to show you the fencing is because it was very stylized at the court of Louis XIV and already at that period they were obviously very much into the frills and the brocade and it was very stylized the way they fenced and apparently Louis XIV had a fencing school underneath the Louvre where he got all his best musketeers trained up. They were wearing these swashbuckling boots. So there is one theory which came from Belinda Quirey, an eminent Baroque dance personality. And she said that she reckoned that the fashion of the boots caused the event of turning out the feet. Because if you can imagine, if they had these big boots on, if they walked with their feet straight forward, they would look very unattractive. So they devised this way of walking. If you just try this, boys, if you turn your feet out slightly and just swing the legs very gracefully pulled up in the middle and here we have the beginnings of turnout not too much that's it anyway I want you to have a little look at a fencing salute which they would have done before they started their actual fight because it looks really stylized they stand beautifully pulled up they have a slight turnout of the feet already, and it looks to me really obvious that it's sort of inspired ballet. So shall we have a look at that? En garde. <laughs> en garde. There we are. Slowly with the arms. It's okay. 